Uh, dear students, in the last session, we talked about the bypass factor of a cooling coil. So, let us uh, do a simple problem on that. 40 meter cube of air per minute at 31 degree Celsius dry bulb temperature and 18.5 degree Celsius dry wet bulb temperature is passed over a cooling coil whose surface temperature is 4.4 degree Celsius. The cooling coil capacity is 3.56 TR. Under the given condition of air, determine the dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature of air leaving the cooling coil and also the bypass factor. Okay. So, here uh, they are talking about uh, a, a 40 meter cube of air per minute means the volumetric, uh, the volume flow, the volume flow rate of air uh, per minute is given and uh, this, this much quantity of air that is 40 meter cube of air per minute at uh, 31 degree Celsius dry bulb temperature and 18.5 degree Celsius wet bulb temperature that is the given condition of air. This air is passed over a cooling coil whose surface temperature is 4.4 degrees Celsius. So, we know what is meant by a cooling coil. It will be a uh, coil uh, we, in, 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 through which a cooling uh, fluid or a cooling medium will be flowing and uh, as a result of which the surface temperature of the cooling coil will be a low, a, 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 low a, a particularly low temperature and here that surface temperature is given as 4.4 degree Celsius. So, we can roughly draw a psychrometric chart uh, with the x-axis as the tribal temperature and the specific humidity omega along the y-axis. Okay, So, the surface temperature of air will be marked on the uh, saturated uh, liquid line on this curve, saturated liquid line on this curve, uh, we can mark the uh, surface temperature of the cooling coil as yes, okay, as 4.4 uh, degree Celsius. Correspondingly, the dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature of this point yes will be 4.4 degree Celsius. Then we can mark the point 1. Point 1 uh, is representing the given condition of air that is 31 degree Celsius dry bulb temperature and 18.5 degree Celsius wet bulb temperature. We can mark it as that is 18 correspondingly corresponding to 18.45 degree Celsius wet bulb temperature line and 31 degree Celsius dry bulb temperature a line. We can mark the intersecting point as point 1. This point 1 is representing this condition of air that is at 31 degree Celsius dry bulb temperature and 18.5 degree Celsius wet bulb temperature. So, if you are having doubt you please refer to our uh, psychrometry chart. Uh, we here on this dry bulb temperature uh, axis take 31 degree Celsius uh, follow that uh, vertical line 31 degree Celsius upward and also the uh, you follow the wet bulb temperature lines. Wet bulb temperature lines are actually lines parallel to the enthalpy lines. So, find out the uh, uh, wet bulb temperature line corresponding to, so here it is given as 18.5 degree Celsius wet bulb temperature. So, take up the uh, line corresponding to 18.5 degree Celsius. So, here uh, count from 15. So, it will be 16, 17, 18. So, 18.5 degree Celsius line, it will be a slanting line like this and also follow up the vertical line from 31 degree Celsius tribal temperature. Both of these will be meeting together at some point. You mark that point using pencil on the psychrometry chart. Okay, Remember, always use pencil for uh, marking any point inside the psychrometry chart and that uh, roughly the point 1 is obtained like this okay then join a line from 1 to s yes. okay this line 1 to s yes is representing the action of this cooling coil okay so uh, in the last session we uh, understood we studied that 100% uh, uh, of the incoming air or uh, which is incoming towards the uh, cooling coil will not be uh, actually touching the surface of the cooling coil and getting cooled actually some amount of the incoming air from one it will be bypassing the uh, cooling coil and as a result the exit condition uh, the, or the uh, condition of air exiting from the cooling coil will be another point 2 which is marked over here this point 2 is representing the exit condition of air uh, which is exiting or which is coming out of this cooling coil okay so we uh, we need to find out this point okay then we are again continuing reading the question the cooling coil capacity of this uh, uh, cooling coil is given as 3.56 tr 
TR is the tons of refrigeration or the refrigeration effect. So, the refrigeration effect produced by this cooling oil is nothing but 3.56 TR or in kilowatts it will be uh, 3.52 times 3.56. So, it will be around 12.5312 kilowatt. Okay. So, actually uh, this, uh, cool, uh, this refrigeration effect of this cooling oil is represented from 1 to 2. Okay. And uh, 2 to S, the line 2 to S is representing that amount of air which actually bypassed the cooling oil. So, 1 to 2 is representing the amount of air which actually got cooled by the presence of this uh, uh, cooling oil. So, 1 to 2 is, uh, the line 1 to 2 is representing the refrigeration effect produced by the cooling oil and 2 to S, the line 2 to S is representing the amount of air which actually bypassed the, the cooling oil. Okay, now the volumetric flow rate is uh, 40 meter cube per minute. Okay, then we have already located the point 1. Okay, so corresponding to point 1, we can find out the specific uh, volume line. So we can observe here in the psychrometry chart, there are specific volume lines that is uh, 0.92 volume cubic meter per kilogram of dry air. So this, this uh, lines parallel to this. Uh, specific volume lines we can find out anywhere uh, on the psychrometric uh, chart. So, we have already po marked a point 1 uh, somewhere on the psychrometric chart. You find out the specific volume line which is actually passing through that point 1. Okay. So, uh, find out the specific volume line which is passing through the point 1. It is uh, coming around 0.873 meter cube per kilogram. Okay, so we can uh, volume volume flow rate is given. The specific volume is found out. The, so we can easily find out the mass flow rate of this uh, uh, incoming air. So the mass flow rate of the MA, the mass flow rate of air, is given as volume divided by the specific volume. Okay, so how we can, how why we are dividing this volume by specific volume? Uh, you look at the uh, units. Okay, by properly manipulating this unit, uh, we can find out the uh, <coughs> mass flow rate or kilogram per minute or kilogram per second uh, value. So, here we are dividing volume by specific volume that is uh, coming around 45.81 kilogram per minute or 0.7635 kilogram per second. Okay. So, that is uh, the case of mass flow rate. Now, uh, we can find out the enthalpy uh, corresponding to so, uh, we need to find out the dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature of the air of leaving the cooling oil or that is, we have to find out the dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature corresponding to point 2. Okay, so that is our idea. So, uh, now let us try to find out that uh, enthalpy value at 1, we, we can easily follow the enthalpy uh, line from 1, this, this, is, this is the enthalpy axis and these are the enthalpy lines traveling in, inside or into the psychrometric chart actually wet bulb temperature lines and uh, this uh, enthalpy lines are parallel to each other so corresponding to a, any point on this psychrometric chart just follow the wet bulb temperature line or the enthalpy line and then the enthalpy lines and find out the values corresponding from correspondingly from the enthalpy axis so uh, enthalpy corresponding to point 1 h1 is given as uh, we, we, it is found out as 51.2 kilojoules per kilogram of dry air. D, this dA represents dry air, kilogram of dry air. So, and also the enthalpy value corresponding to the surface temperature of the cooling oil, that is also easy to find out. HS, 18.5 kilojoules per kilogram of dry air. Okay. So, the refrigeration effect of this cooling oil, it is already given, uh, that is 12.5312 kilowatt. And that is actually represented as mass flow rate of air times H1 minus H2. Okay, I have already discussed. Uh, one, the line 1 to 2 is representing the cooling effect or the refrigeration effect or the amount of uh, uh, air which actually got cooled by the presence of this uh, cooling coil. So, H1 minus H2, uh, the whole multiplied by the mass flow rate of air will give the cooling effect or the refrigeration effect of this cooling coil okay so 12.5312 is given as 0.7635 times 51.2 minus h2 so the only unknown value here is h2 or enthalpy corresponding to 2 
we can easily found out as uh, find out as 35 34.78 kilojoules per kilogram of dry air so we can easily locate the point 2 okay so we have already uh, drawn the line from 1 to s okay so now we have found out the enthalpy value as 34.78 okay so locate the value of 34.78 on this uh, enthalpy axis then draw the uh, line from that 34.78 uh, kilojoules per kilogram uh, into the psychrometry chart and that line will be intersecting the line 1 to s at which point at the point 2 okay so follow the line from h2 corresponding to 34.78 kilojoules per kilogram draw uh, or you can mark using a pencil also you draw this line okay and this line from h2 will be intersecting the line 1 to s at which point at a point 2 so we can easily find out the point we can easily locate the point 2 and then we can easily find after locating the point 2 we can easily find out the tribal temperature and wet bulb temperature they are coming around 17.2 and 12.3 degrees celsius and uh, we can now the second part of the question is to find out the bypass factor bypass factor we have already uh, discussed in the previous section how we can find out the line 1 to uh, 1 to 2 is representing the uh, the amount of air which actually uh, got cooled or got refrigerated by the presence of the uh, cooling oil but the line s to 2 or 2 to s is representing the amount of air which actually bypassed the cooling oil so bypass factor is given as 2 minus s the whole divided by 1 to s 1 to s is our cooling oil process okay so uh, what is the percentage of the amount of air uh, sorry, sorry what is the percentage of this total line 1 to s uh, how much uh, percentage of this line is bypassing the cooling oil that is our idea so 2 to s is the bypassed air so 2 to s divided by 1 to s or the bypass factor is given as h2 minus hs if we are uh, we can easily represent it uh, on any terms here i am representing uh, i am here i am representing it uh, in enthalpy terms h2 minus hs divided by h1 minus hs so uh, the all uh, the all these values are already found out the bypass factor is found out as 0.4978 or it mean or it means uh, 49 by 49.78 percentage of the incoming air from one actually bypassed the cooling oil so that is the physical meaning of this uh, uh, answer all of you draw these uh, diagrams and uh, study uh, then only you will get to understand all of you should practice uh, taking the values from psychrometry chart then only it will be helping to you so thank you